Hey YouTube, welcome to another edition of RC Printer. I'm your host Jordan Visco, and today we're going to be playing around with this guy right here, which is our Roback 2. Now in our previous build video for the Roback 2, uh, we got it together, but we were missing a couple of parts. We 3D printed some of the drive cups that are in there, and I know those aren't going to last very long. And then we also used the FS diffs from the MK Ultras. Uh, that worked, but they weren't great. So I wanted to get those upgraded before we really put it through its paces And I've just been waiting for them to arrive and lo and behold here. They are So we got our new drive cups here There's our new differentials And then we 3d printed these TPU tires and they look really cool But I'm not confident they're gonna perform too well. So I got some upgrades for those as well These guys right here these are the recommended HSP tires that you're supposed to get with the build, so I'm excited to try those out. And then last but not least, right now we're just using this cheap brushless combo kit that I think is around 4300 KV. I can see right there it says 4370 KV. And being that the tires are so big and the KV is so high, I don't think it's going to perform all that well. We're going to give it a shot and see, but um, I'm planning to upgrade this guy as well. So stick around, we're going to get those upgrades done, and then we're going to pull it outside and do a little bashing, and that's all going to start right now. like that. So there's my 3D printed drive cup. And there's the old diff. So you can see the difference there between the old one and the new one. The new one is definitely a lot wider. Yeah, that's nicer for sure. So I'll add a little lube. It's real nice. All right, first side done. This side's gonna be a little tougher because of this motor mount. Now that that's done, let's grab a decent 2S battery, throw it in there, and we'll see how she runs like this before we make any other modifications. Alright, let's open up the doors here and see how we do on the ice covered driveway.
So you can see there, there's definitely quite a bit of cogging just because of that high KV motor that's also uncensored. So yeah, we're definitely gonna switch that motor out and uh, see if we can get a little better performance. These tires as well, being that they were just made out of TPU are extremely slippery and I'm gonna try those new tires as well. But before we do that, we got, I don't know, two inches of snow. So let's see how it does in the snow. That's pretty fun, actually. All right, well, it seems to take a little bit of pounding, so before we hurt it too much, let's go and switch that motor and get some new tires on it. So you can see here we are getting a bit of snow inside the body. That's not too bad. All right, time to say goodbye to this uncensored brushless motor and ESC combo kit and hello to this new 13.5T Rocket V3 censored brushless racing motor and 120 amp brushless censored ESC. All right, that's pretty good. Let's get those new tires on. One, two, three, and four. Here we go again. All right, so these tires are much grippier. We're not getting any cogging whatsoever. So we're doing some testing with our Roback 2 and so far I've been pretty impressed with its performance. It seems to go really, really well, but with the size of the tires, if you're pushing pretty hard, the motor heats up quite a lot. So I got a few options. One would be choosing a different pinion. Right now I'm running a 21 tooth pinion. And this vehicle actually uses mod 0.6 gears. So in mod 0.6, I can go down to like a 17 tooth pinion and uh, see how that goes. I have one on order, but I don't have one here. Uh, I could also upgrade the motor to a higher number of turns, so like a 17.5 or a 21 turn motor. Uh, should reduce the heat a little bit as well. Another option would be adding a fan. So I did try adding one of these guys right here. Uh, it's just a little 540 uh, motor fan. Clips right on. Didn't really seem to help too much. Even without the cover on, I'm still overheating, so it doesn't seem like this is a good long-term solution for me. One issue I did have while I was just testing right now is I was using these adjustable drive shafts, and on the front and rear of the vehicle, the set screws actually chewed right through the metal here of these drive shafts. So that just goes to show you the amount of power and uh, how much force it's taking to get those wheels kicking off. Um, so lots of, lots of power there in that motor in this setup. And if you're gonna be using these adjustable drive shafts, make sure you lock tight those set screws and you have them in there real tight. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these to these guys right here, which are the recommended drive shafts. And uh, so hopefully we don't have any more problems with that. We can keep on testing. So one other thing to mention here is I used these upgraded steering arms. I'm not sure why I ordered those initially, but the one you're supposed to get with the machine have little metal balls that go on to each connection point and then, and then you clip these little guys on top of them. And I feel like these ones don't allow these big shocks to have quite the movement they need. You can see they're just kind of stopping the shocks there. 
on both sides. There's just not enough movement between the metal ball in there and the metal piece surrounding it. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the regular ones and we'll see if uh, that gets us a little bit more movements as well. All right, and there it is with the recommended arm on the one side and the upgraded metal one on this side. So you can see the regular one allows quite a bit more movement. So we'll stick with those. And there we go. Not as pretty as those, but they work. We got those new drive shafts installed there as well. Looking pretty nice. Definitely an upgrade over those adjustable ones. Uh, right now we're running a 21 tooth pinion and so we have a 17 tooth pinion here that we can try. So we're going to give the 21 tooth pinion a shot uh, just at first so we can get kind of a baseline of where we're at. And then we'll switch over to the 17 tooth pinion and see if that fixes it for us. If not, we have this guy here, which is an easy run max 10 3652 at 3300 kV uh, combo kit with a uh, speed controller as well inside there. And this is the new recommended motor by the designer for this vehicle. And a bunch of guys in the Discord forum are saying it doesn't get hot at all. So we're gonna give that one a try and see how it goes. And then if that is still getting hot after that, the next thing we can do is switch over to this guy, which is just a, a longer motor. So let's just start by taking this thing outside, running it around in the driveway a little bit and seeing uh, how hot we can get it. All right, here we go. It's just about zero degrees out right now. So outdoor temperature should not be a factor. It's probably been about five minutes now, so I'll just do a quick check. So we're running about 180, which is uh, definitely too high. So go ahead and change that pinion and uh, see how she goes. Out right, with the old, in with the new, and we'll tighten that down in this motor. Whew, it is still very hot, so we got to give that a few minutes to cool down as well. All right, new pinions installed, motor temp has cooled down to just over 100. So I think we're ready to go again. Definitely has more torque. Looks like we had a little accident and broke our steering. But the motor temperature is still in the 120s, so I think we can safely say that uh, if you're running a 13.5T 540 motor like this one, and you put on that 17 tooth pinion, you're going to be just fine. I think I really do want to try that uh, Max 10 kit, so we'll throw that one in next. There's the 60 amp Easy Run Max 10 ESC and the 3652 motor. All right, there's the motor. It comes with the connectors pre-soldered on there, which is kind of nice. There we go. You just plug the leads into those three there. Comes with an XT60 already wired on, little push button start, and a motor temperature sensor as well. There's also a spare fan and a couple of extra little parts. All right, there we go. There's the new Max 10 kit installed. Um, I have installed the 21 tooth pinion back again, so we can compare apples to apples and see how hot it gets. It is an uncensored motor, so uh, just testing it out a little bit here, I can feel a little bit of cogging, so we'll see what happens once it gets outside. And it is getting a bit dark out right now, so this will probably be something we have to do in the morning. All right, so next morning, we're gonna go again with the Roback with our new 3652 brushless uncensored motor in there, uh, Max 10 kit. Let's check the temp. Yeah, we're not hot at all, so it's definitely a lot easier on the motor. 
All right, so we're back in the shop here, and obviously this Max 10 kit uh, worked pretty well from a heat perspective. So this would be a pretty good option for someone if they didn't mind the cogging that an uncensored motor has. Personally, I can't stand the cogging, so I'm going to switch back to that motor that I had in there before with the 17 tooth pinion, which seemed to work really well, and I'm just going to upgrade the battery that I was using to this guy here, which is an ADC 5000 milliamp hour battery that's going to provide a lot of discharge power. And I think for me, that's going to be a really good final solution. So I'll get it back outside right now for reference, and I'll show you exactly what my final solution looks like. Check the motor temperature here, we're running 140-ish, uh, which is great. Alright, thank you very much for watching our testing of the Roback 2. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful in some way. If you did, please consider giving us a like or subscribe, it really helps me out. And as always, if you're looking for cool ideas of 3D printed projects like this guy to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, check us out at rcprinter.com. We do have kits for the Roback 2 coming in pretty quick, so please keep checking our website and they'll be up shortly.